Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I think you're going to like today's lesson. Why? Because I'm talking about one word, which is very common in English, and that many people have problems with. And they get very overwhelmed with this word. Get. The word get. You hear it all the time, don't you? Because it is very common. We use it in lots of different ways. And we use it together with other words, like phrasal verbs. So it's very common in English conversation. There is a lot to talk about with get, so I won't do it all in this lesson. But we're going to focus on six common get phrases that you can use to sound more fluent and natural. Let's start. Get back to you. What does it mean, get back to you? I'm sure you've heard this one. Will you be working with us on the next project? I haven't decided yet. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. So it simply means I will think about it and I will reply later. I will contact you later about this. We often say, get back to you on that or on something, on that topic. So it means return or reply to this person. You can do it in an email or phone call or even just talking to the person somehow. Another example. Are you coming to the meeting on Friday? Sorry, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Let me get back to you. I'll get back to you next week. Or if you're writing an email and you want someone to reply, you can say, please get back to me as soon as you can. You can say, please reply, but it's more common to say, please get back to me as soon as you can. Next one, number two, get on with it. Get on with it. So in these videos, I give you an example and you have to try to think about what it means. The teacher told us to get on with our work. Get on with it. Right, so this simply means to continue doing something that you started or to start doing the work. Like if the children are being lazy and not doing the work, you can say, come on, get on with it. Get back to it. There's another one you can say, get on with it. Or if you have to start some task or project, you can say, come on, let's get on with it. Let's start. Number three, get along with someone. Get along with someone. I get along well with all my colleagues. I get along well with all my colleagues. Maybe you've heard this one. It simply means to have a good, easy relationship with someone. It means you can relate well to each other and have good conversations. You can also say get on with someone. It's a bit more informal or get along. We don't get along very well. We don't get along very well. It means we don't like each other <laughs> or we don't communicate well. Number four, get rid of something or someone. Get rid of. Oh, I've got so much junk in my cupboard. I have to get rid of it. This is very common. This is a way to say, dispose of something or remove something. And uh, we don't usually say dispose. Okay, we say get rid of it. Oh, I've got an old apple in the fridge. Get rid of it. Put it in the bin. Get rid of it. We have to get rid of all this mess before the meeting.
Number five, get out of something. Get out of something. Now, I don't mean get out of the car or um, get out of the house. That's just the, the basic meaning. Get out of something has another meaning. Here's an example. I have plans tonight, but I can get out of it if you need me to help you. I can get out of it if you need me to help you. What do you think it means? Yeah, it means I can cancel it or I can change my plans. Often we use this when we want to avoid doing something that we had planned. We want to cancel the plans. Um, for example, oh, I have to go to this wedding on the weekend. I think I might try to get out of it. I might make an excuse like, oh, sorry, I, yeah, I don't feel well, I'm sick. <coughs> um, you know, you make an excuse, you lie. <laughs> or another example. I can't come to your party, sorry. I have an appointment and I can't get out of it. So if you have an arrangement already, and sometimes you have to say, look, sorry, I can't get out of this arrangement. I can't cancel it. It's fixed. And number six, get around to. Get around to doing something. Get around to doing something. Here's an example. I've been wanting to see that movie, but I just haven't got around to it. Have I seen the movie yet? No. Why? Because I didn't have time or I was too busy. So we say get around to something it means find time to do it. Um, another example, I was supposed to call Mary, but I didn't get around to it. So supposed to means, uh, I had to do this. I had to, it was my obligation. I was supposed to call Mary, but I didn't get around to it. It means I didn't have time. I, maybe I forgot or I just didn't have time. Have you cleaned the house yet? No. Sorry, I didn't get around to it. I didn't get around to it, didn't find time. I didn't get around to doing it. I haven't got around to finishing my homework. Sorry. So we must put verb ing after this one. Great. So there's a lot you can use. Six common phrases with get. Let's go through them. Get back to someone. Get on with it. Get along with someone. Get rid of something. Get out of something. And get around to doing something. Try making sentences this week with these six phrases. Put them in your notebook and make your own sentence and practice. Good luck with it. See you in the next video.